Good day, my beloveds. Today I want to continue with reconciling with God, but I want to look at something that must be the most important topic on our journey, and that is the covenant, beloveds. You know, beloveds, we as human beings don't always understand the power of our Creator. And that is why we don't always appreciate being a member on the body of Christ. Beloved, being a member on the body of God. Do you know what God means, beloved? The word God means one made up of many. And that is Jesus Christ, the church. So, we became one of this many. But... It's not as simple as we think it might be, beloveds, because making a covenant with our Creator is greater than our normal human minds can even fathom. You know, beloveds, Jesus says in John 14, 6, He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but by me. So we won't get to the Father but by the Son, the path how to conquer the mind, how to become one with God, how to become spirit beings. But God says, you have not chosen me, I have chosen you. So how does this work, beloved? Some of us are testified into the church, some of us are born into the church. How does this work? Beloveds, you know, all souls that enters the baby while it is forming inside the mother's womb is from a plane called the astral and there are many yogis and many other people that believe that you can choose the family you'll be born into but I'm sure then many people won't be born into third world countries and where they die of hunger and poverty so I can tell you something today that you can't choose. God chooses. So, God chose you to be born into a member of Christ's body. Or, you were born in an area where the church was present. Where you could be testified. So, God chose you, beloved. Nothing comes out of ourselves. And He chose us out of billions of people. He chose you. And He said, I am going to make you a part of this body. And I am going to give you the opportunity to become one with me and to ascend out of hell and out of this pain and misery of this physical world. So, beloved, then God came to us through one of His members, through Jesus Christ. And that person testified us or taught us, whether we were in the church or not. And they gave us this wisdom to enter this path truly, to become enlightened and to become God-like and to reconcile with God. On this path only, beloveds. Then we say to God, please help me to get out of this hell. I want to become one with thee. I want to be above all this. I want to help other people. I can't see people suffer so much. And then God said, I will uplift you. But you will make a covenant with me. And you will do what I tell you when I tell you. And I said, anything, Father, anything. And then God said, I'm going to give you something. I'm going to give you my child, Jesus. He's going to be born into your flesh. He's going to be born into your heart, into your crib. And I want you to bring him up for me. And the day you leave your body, I will see what you did with that child. And I said, Father, please, anything, just help me out of this hell. And give me this light, give me this love, 
make me part of this. And then God gave us his child to bring up for him. Now, beloved, I want you to think for yourselves. If you have a child and you leave the baby with your best friends and you and your husband or wife, you want to go away for a weekend to have a second honeymoon or whatever the case may be. And when you return after the weekend, when you drove into the people's yard, your best friend's yard, the baby was lying on the grass, wasn't fit for the time the baby was with him, naked. What would you do, beloved? I am sure it won't be a good picture. You will do something you're not really created to be. And that is the same with God, beloved. God comes to us and He says, I entrust you with my child. Bring him up for me. And we made a covenant with God that we will do that. And beloveds, how do we bring up that child? We have to remember, beloved, this is a spiritual child. It can't be fed with, with physical food. The only way that this child can be fed is by the mouth of the Father. There's an other side to it as well, beloveds. That this child can't be fed with physical words, with natural thoughts. It will die, beloveds. The only way that that child will be magnified is by the evangelistic teachings and spiritual teachings of God. And I want to tell you something today. You can go to church 12 days a week, beloveds, 25 hours a day. And you can sit there and have physical thoughts and you can be on the beach and you can think of the food on the plate, on the stove, or you can think of your children or if you are gathered in the body of Christ, you must have that child fed. Beloved, will you ever let your child go to bed hungry at night? Will you ever let your children go to, to sleep without feeding them? You won't, beloved. You will give them your last. So what about God, beloved? What about God within us? Why can't we feed this child? Because, beloved, sometimes it's just not available. The evangelistic stream may be dried up. And that is why it's so important for us to connect somewhere to have this child fed and be strengthened, beloved. Because we have to remember, this child, Jesus, is the path which leads to God. It's the path of dying. We have to magnify this Christ within us to conquer our own minds. I want to die. I don't want to be part of this world anymore. I want to be part of the kingdom of God. I want to be a spirit being. I'm tired of suffering. And that is why it's so important, beloved. That covenant we made is to bring up that child. And the most important of it all, beloved, the soul is imprisoned by the mind, by the darkness. And this Jesus Christ is the spiritual evangelistic teachings that transforms the mind for us to be interested more in spirit and soul than the physical world. That is what Christ is. Christ is the method of freeing the soul. And that is why it is so important that God set the soul free within you. Because, beloved, that is who you are. Soul, not mind. Mind is darkness. And for us to set the soul free, we will understand who we really are. Because, beloved, you know that little voice that always says, Don't do that. Don't do that. That's the soul, beloved. But if you continue magnifying the darkness within you, it will cover the soul to such extent that it can't wake up. And you will waste this lifetime, beloveds. And that is why we have Jesus Christ. 
That's why God came with His mercy and grace and He chose us to give us His child. He chose us to enter into this path. He chose us to call us His spirit flock, the peculiar nation, the nutty people. That's who we are. We're above mind, beloveds. We're above this world. We spirit beings. And God's wisdom to the world is absolutely unknown, beloved. And it's actually stupidity to them. But to us, it is life. And that is why it's so important, beloved, to understand when you attend a church service, when you attend any gathering, be sure that that child is fed. Be sure that that child is motivated. That it motivates you to give one step closer to be reconciled with God. And that is why your covenant isn't you must do this and you must go to church and you must. We know we have to do that, beloved, because if we don't do that, we won't be strengthened spiritually. But when you go to church, be very sure that your child is fed. That you are one step closer to be reconciled with God. That you are one step closer to conquering your mind. That you are one step higher in spirit realms. Where you can become one with God and sit in heavenly places. In Christ, in the church. But beloved, you know when you become strong. Or when you know you're advancing. When you leave the church and that same thought remains within you. You know what, beloved? The Bible says, Love thy father and thy mother, that thy days will be lengthened. What does that mean, beloved? If I love my father and mother, will I live a longer life? No, beloved. When I go to church, I am in the light. I am in the works of my father. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of thee. And it will be light in my world. And when I love my father and I love my mother, when I love the father, this light and this word, and I love the mother, the community, I will see, but my brother's not yet today. I will go to testify them and go work with them and give them my light, beloved, so that where two or three are gathered in my name, my day will be lengthened. I'll be in light for longer in the light of God. When I leave the church and I go do something physical and I am involved with other things, beloved, darkness returned. And that is why when you love father and when you love the community, the mother, your days will be lengthened because you will spend more time on your beloveds. And therefore, beloved, we will continue with the reconciliation and all the things that are more important for us to have our souls fed and this Christ spirit be strengthened and magnified within us, beloved. And if you have any questions that I haven't answered or that you want answered, please ask, beloved. What I can't answer, I have a full body and all the wisdom of God and the universe to help us find answers. The main objective is, beloved, for us to Put them in practice and become Christ the deed and do this for us to keep our covenant, not with a God outside or a God with fantasy or a God of flesh, but a God of spirit. The one I made the covenant with. I didn't make the covenant with a fleshly body, beloved. The God that spoke through that person, that is the God, the creator of the universe, the one with the light. That is the one I made the covenant with. And for that reason, I, I received a spirit child. And that is what I have to magnify within myself to become one with God and reconciled forever. Thank you, beloved. God bless all of you.